Nipro Stylisate Infusion Function, DIF. The overflow line is attached to the drain port. The arterial and the venous line are connected. First the dialysate compartment of the dialyzer is filled with dialysate. Then the dialyzer is turned with the blue side up. The dialyzer leak check, DLC, is performed. The UF pump starts rotating in reverse direction and instead of removing fluid it is now delivering dialysate into the bloodline through the dialyzer which acts as a second endotoxin filter. Once the fluid reaches the drain port, the blood pump starts distributing the fluid throughout the bloodline to make it air-free. Inside the venous chamber, the air is separated from the fluid. Air is removed from the dialyzer and the bloodline, so the LX automatically changes the blood pump speed and uses the venous clamp to remove air bubbles from the dialyzer. At patient connection, Sodial X removes remaining fluid from the overflow line, which is then discarded. A sterile cap is used to close the now open line to the venous chamber. The arterial and the venous line are connected to the patient's access to start the treatment. In case the volume in the line is not to be infused, the clean treatment start function, CTS, can be used which is explained in a separate video. After blood has been detected, dialysis is started. During treatment, a bolus can be delivered using the diff function. To deliver the bolus, the UF pump will again rotate in reverse direction. The desired amount and delivery rate can be set in the online menu. For reinfusion, the arterial line is connected to the venous chamber. Again, the UF pump is responsible for delivering the reinfusion volume. Half of this volume will be moved out of the dialyzer outflow and return the blood to the venous chamber. The other half will be moved from the dialyzer inflow to the venous chamber by the blood pump, now turning in the reverse direction. From the venous chamber, the blood is returned to the patient.